What up my fellow Pokémon Masters, my name is Super Nerd Glenn, also known as SNG, and today we have our second top 10 list, you guys. This time I'm gonna make a list of my 10 most favorite Pokémon of the Generation 2 era, you guys, better known as the Johto region. Let's go! While the Johto region has some of the most iconic Pokémon of all times, I could only choose 10 for this list. And boy was it a challenge. Please keep in mind you guys that this is just a list based on my opinion and it's very likely that you guys have a very different list and that's just fine. Let me know in the comments how your list is different from mine and so without further ado let's get right into it. Number 10 Number 10 you guys, number 10 is for Houndoom. Houndoom is a badass Pokemon with some badass moves and a badass look. Only his stats are not so great, especially his defense stat. It's the fence that is just to cry about. So that's why this hound from hell deserves the number 10 spot. Fun fact, did you guys know that Houndoom resembles a hellhound but also shares his traits with the world famous Doberman breed? That's just a fact. Number 9 Number 9 is the spot where my boy Lantern swims around. Lantern was the very first water type Pokemon I grew very attached to. Due to its double typing of water and electric, it has no obvious electric type weakness, which helps it out a lot. Its base stats are nothing to write home about, but its H HP make up for that in a great way. Did you guys know that Lantern shares its base stat total with a bunch of other aquatic fish-like Pokemon, like Basculin, Luminion and even Sharpedo? Number 8 Number 8 is for the most underrated starters of all time you guys, it's Meganium. I don't understand why this Pokemon gets so much hate. Okay, it's not my number 1 either, but damn. Show my flower power Pokemon some love you guys. He grows up in the shadows of his two other overpowered starters, but it's still an amazing Pokemon, hence the number 8 spot. Did you guys know that the breath of Meganium can revive dead plants and herbs? This is a fact according to its black and white Pokedex entries. Number 7 The number 7 spot goes to the Lighthouse Guardian Ampharos. I'm not a great fan of the first two stages of the Mareep line like Mareep and Fluffy, but boy oh boy does that final stage deliver. I used an Ampharos in my very first playthrough of Silver. And it must say, it didn't disappoint. Especially with its early second evolution at level 30 and its amazing special attack stat, it is a force to be reckoned with. And for that, it deserves the number 7 spot. Did you know that the light on its tail could be seen from so far away that even from space you can see it with the naked eye? Number 6 Number 6 is for the most amazing transformation from annoying to badass. Badass, pun intended you guys. It's my boy Crobat. It goes from the most hated Pokemon Zubat roaming every cave there is to a powerful and super fast awesome Pokemon. If the shiny version of this amazing Pokemon wasn't so damn ugly, it would be even higher on this list for sure. Fun fact about Crobat. The color scheme is exact reverse of its pre-evolutions. Take a look at these two pictures guys. As you can see, the colors are just switched. It's nice. Number 5. The halfway spot is for the water dragon Pokemon Kingdra. In my very first playthrough of Silver, I had so much trouble beating the Kingdra of the last gym leader, Claire. Which was spamming smokescreen and surf, it was just too powerful for me as a little boy who didn't understand anything about Pokemon yet. Since I started my generation battles with Jeffrey, also on this channel you guys, I raised my own Kingdra, cause of the nostalgia and the real powerhouse it is. Fun fact, the name Kingdra is a combination of the words King and Hydra, which is a mythological sea creature. Number 4. Entering the better side of this list is Tyranitar. This awesome beast is one of the most iconic Pokemon of generation 2, so it had to be included 
on this list. Everybody knows of or thinks that Tyranitar is partly based on the giant slayer Godzilla, which is also the nickname of my dream car, the Nissan GTR R35. With a base stat total of 600, which makes him a pseudo legendary, as everybody knows, it's a very scary Pokemon to encounter. Did you know, by the way, that Tyranitar has the lowest speed stat of all the pseudo legendaries? Well, now you know. Number 3. Going for the bronze medal is Umbreon. This Moonlight Pokemon is an amazingly powerful and bulky Pokemon, with some all round great base stats. But don't fall for this Pokemon cuteness factor, because this dark type has a sinister side according to the Gen 7 Pokedex entries. According to his son Pokedex, when this Pokemon becomes angry, it pours a secrete a poisonous sweat, which it sprays at its opponent's eyes. And its Moondex states, with its black fur, it blends into the darkness, it bites its time, and when prey appears, this Pokemon goes for its throat and then eats it. Brrr, just scary. And to top all of this off, this Mon has one of the nicest shiny colorations in the game. Fun fact about Umbreon, in the Pokemon of the Year poll of 2020, Umbreon was voted the most popular Gen 2 Pokemon, as well as the most popular evolution of all of them, and above all, it was voted the 5th most popular Pokemon of them all. Kudos to Umbreon for that. The number 2. The silver medal is for Typhlosion. There it is you guys, my favorite Gen 2 starter. This Pokemon has a place in my heart because he plays a role in all of my Gen 2 games. It's an amazing design with an amazing power and a great overall base stat which he shares exactly with his fellow fire starter Charizard. Did you guys know that Typhlosion is classified in the Pokédex as the Volcano Pokémon, but only learns the move Eruption, which are Volcanoes known for, at Generation 4. So the first two gens, it doesn't learn it at all. Number 1. And now boys and girls, it is time for Le Moment Supreme. My favorite Pokémon of the Johto region is... Scizor. Scizor is an amazing Pokemon, a great powerhouse, a great design, a nice dual typing of bug and steel. It's just amazing you guys, but don't be fooled about his typing because all his dex entries talk about Scizor having a body like steel and not being steel. So it raises a question what his body is actually made of, but hey, if you guys know, let me know as well. It has an amazing move pool, you guys. It's just amazing. And it learns all of its moves before level 50. So that's a plus point as well. Taking all that and his uh, newly added Mega Evolution, it takes him, in my opinion, to the number one spot, you guys. Final fun fact about Scissor. Scissor has the exact same base stat total as its pre-evolution Scyther. And so Scissor is the only Pokemon to not, to not have its base stat total changed upon evolution. So you guys, there you have it. This was my top 10 of the Generation 2 games, the Johto region. If you agree with my list, please let me know in the comments what I what you think of this of this list. And if you didn't agree, also let me know what is your list, you guys. I love to see which Pokemon you prefer above all. All. So let me know in the comments. Also, you guys consider, please consider leaving a like at this video and also subscribing to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Let's get to that 200 sub goal and then we're gonna do an awesome TCG giveaway again. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching to this point. I really love to see you in the next one. Super Nerd Glenn out. Thank you guys. Bye.